Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our competitive guide video. So today we're covering Calyrex. Calyrex is really interesting. Uh, personally I was expecting it to be a lot stronger than it is having uh, base 100 HP and base 80 stats again across the uh, across the field. It just seems a little bit lackluster. I think like uh, Glalie has like base 80 stats across the board so to me it seems a little bit lackluster compared to what I was expecting from it. I mean it is essentially a poor man's Celebi at this point but I have got three sets for you today, so we're just going to jump straight in. The first set being uh, a Life Orb Calm Mind set. So Calm Mind allows you to raise up your special attack and your special defense by one stage each time you use it. And this can combine really nicely with Stored Power. So Stored Power basically gains 20 base power every time that you raise up a stat. So for example, if you got three Calm Minds up, that is six uh, extra stats. So that would be... Uh, 20 times 6, which is 120, plus the original 20, that becomes base 140 power, which is honestly absolutely huge. So it can really destroy a lot of different Pokemon. We've then got Energy Ball, which is a powerful grass type attack. It hits a lot of different Pokemon now. I personally really love to use Giga Drain, and Giga Drain, I think, are on the next two sets, but you have got Energy Ball there as an option. And finally, Tri Attack, just because having a coverage move there as well can work very nicely for you, uh, rather than just having the Psychic and the Grass type attack. Obviously, with this set, uh, Steel types are not your friends, so do be very cautious of that. Um, but currently, there is not really anything that I can see scrolling down that is going to be helpful uh, towards a um, Steel type. I think everything it has is weak to Steel, unfortunately. But um, you can always have a Pokemon, so a fire type Pokemon in the back that can help deal with that, or even a ground type Pokemon or a fighting type Pokemon. Lots of different Pokemon can steal, we can deal with steel types. EVs on this thing, I've got max special attack and max speed with a timid nature, so more speed, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. Now, you can run this uh, in other ways, you can run this as max HP, max special attack with a modest nature. That would allow for you to uh, hopefully live a few different hits because base 80 defenses are pretty good. And also, you have got the option of running max HP, max defense with a bold nature, so more defense, less attack. And that would allow for you to become more tanky, um, so having the highest defense possible. And then whilst you're setting up your calm minds, you're getting more tanky on your special defense, allowing for you to be able to start taking out different Pokemon. Now, if you're going for that kind of set, maybe go for le leftovers instead of um, the leftovers instead of Life Orb, because that will help out for your um, living, essentially, because your your not calm mind, your life orb will start dwindling down your health pretty quickly. Moving on to the second set for Calyrex, there is a leftover set um, on here. We've got Giga Drain, Aromatherapy, Leech Seed, and Psychic. This is one of my quite typical sets. We've got Giga Drain allowing us to get a little bit of health back every turn that we use it. We've got Aromatherapy to heal the status conditions of the Pokemon on our team. So for example, if someone's Will-O-Wisp or Conkelda, um, I always use Conkelda as an example, I don't know why, but if someone's Will-O-Wisp or Conkelda and it's not Guts, then uh, we can use Aromatherapy to get that back. But on the contrary, do be cautious of doing this kind of thing when you do have a Guts or um, a Pokemon that requires a status condition for its ability to activate because that Aromatherapy will get rid of that status condition and you will then have to set it up again, which could be problematic for you. It could be problematic, especially if you've been knocked off or something, but it's just something to consider when you're building your teams. I've also gone for Leech Seed. Now, personally, I think Leech Seed is a really, really good mood. It's mood? Move. is a good mood as well. But you can Leech Seed the Pokemon, get a little bit of health back at the end of every turn, or you force a switch. Now, I find most of the time they will switch within two to three turns um, and get a different Pokemon in. You can always predict that switch and go for another Leech Seed, potentially, um, or you can just predict the switch into what they're going to go into. So, for example, uh, I would expect if they had um, a Water Type, in at that time, probably not a water type. If they had a uh, trying to think like a ghost type, for example, in at that point, uh, and they get leech seeded, they're gonna probably attack you, so you might want to switch out and get a different Pokemon in. But if they had a Pokemon, I'm trying to think of Pokemon that's not weak, uh, the Calyrex is weak to uh, typing and it's not strong to um, bug type doesn't work. Calyrex has a lot of weaknesses, um, <laughs> has a lot of weaknesses. I'm trying to think, a dragon type for example, if you have a dragon type that's leech seeded, they're probably not going to want that to dwindle down too much, they might switch out into a fire type for example, and then you can then switch into uh, a water type to counter that fire type if you predict that correctly, so that could work quite nicely for you, sorry that was a rambling a lot there, I was trying to figure out what uh, Calyrex wasn't weak to, because it's weak to a lot of things, or it's strong against the other things, so yeah, it's got very few that are just single kind of effectiveness on it. But yeah, we've got Leech Seed on there. Leech Seed, the sort of the 
kind of moral of that story is Leech Teeth can work very nicely for you if you use it right. And then we've got Psychic, which is a powerful, obviously, Psychic type attack, uh, boosted by Stab, and it'll hit some different Pokemon. You can go for Psyshock if you wanted to, uh, to go on the defense rather than the special defense, but that is entirely your choice. Eevee's, again, got max special attack, max speed with a timid nature, so more speed, less attack. You could always go for uh, a max HP, max special attack modest set. You could go max HP, max special defense, uh, calm set if you wanted to as well. It's entirely up to you what you decide to go for, how you decide to play this thing. Uh, you don't have to go for like the special sweeping. You don't have to go for the bulky sweeping. You don't even have to go for sweeping at all, but you can go for whatever you like there. And finally, I have a Dynamax set for Calyrex. Now, this is one of my favorite forms of sets at the minute, and that is a Psychic Seed or Terrain Extender. You can have one or the other. Uh, Psychic Seed will allow you to raise up your defense by one stage. I believe it's your defense. Let me just double check. Uh, no, your special defense by one stage. I apologize. Special defense by one stage. Um, on, or you have the Terrain Extender, which extends terrain from five turns to eight turns. Now, the idea here would be to Dynamax, use your Expanding Force to set up the uh, Psychic Terrain, which would allow for you to use Expanding Force at 1.5 times power and hit all the foes in the field, but in singles that's not going to work necessarily. Uh, but having that Expanding Force can definitely work very nicely for you. Um, can then cause uh, a lot more damage when you are out of your Dynamax. We have Giga Drain. Now, if you want to set up the max overgrowth for any reason, so for example, you have a Colossal in your team, four times a week to ground type attacks, and you've seen a Pokemon of Earthquake, you might want to go for that. Um, but that's up to you what you decide to go for there. Obviously, it's in specific scenarios in that one. Uh, Leech Seed, which again allows you to start dwindling down your opposing Pokemon's health. Now, you can do that uh, throughout many turns. You can do that at the beginning of the back. Uh, the, uh, match when you come in or you can do that after your Dynamax or you can use it as Max Guard if you need to so it does have a couple of different uses there. Encore as a uh, option here as well so if you want to get someone stuck into uh, for example using uh, a taunt maybe uh, for an example uh, or a move that is not going to be super effective against you you can then force a switch uh, which can be quite nice or uh, that pokemon will get stuck into that move and do a little bit of damage so encore can work very nicely for you uh, in some scenarios as well and again max guard as an option EVs, a couple of ways, max special attack, max speed with a timid nature, or you could run max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, it's up to you how you decide to go for that one. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this, if you have, please do like, subscribe and comment, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.